Hey guys, welcome back here on M Cubed. As always, I am Schmook, and we are going to go over She-Hulk episode two, and we're going to be doing this on the M Cubed mid grade scale. Let's get right into it. All right, so if you watched my episode one review, I definitely enjoyed it. I gave the episode a six out of ten. Let's see if episode two is a little better. So the production design was I mean, again, it's nothing jaw dropping in my opinion. I mean, I really like the courthouse scenes. I like uh, the building she lives. I will say I like the room a lot where they're keeping Emil Blonsky. I'll give it a plus on this one compared to the last one because it looks more real like it's actually in like real environments and settings so i'll take that to the bank so next up i have score and soundtrack again like there's nothing that just blows my mind when i'm listening to the show because it's not like the score it's just i don't think it exists it just doesn't seem that way to me again it's it's fine like it's not the best but it's getting a downgrade i can't talk about that much because it's just like like why so we're gonna go to sound i mean it was fine again like this show it doesn't do anything jaw dropping jen sounds good i liked seeing hulk out in space like it was cool to see him on a sakarian ship so him flying off sounded sounded cool we'll see what happens with that and i think he'll be back people are saying that he's gonna be back in the show at some point so looking forward to his return i'll give sound a thumbs up so next up we have editing and it wasn't bad. It was actually pretty decent in this episode compared to the last one. Again, I didn't hate it. It's pretty similar, but you know, like Jen and Bruce on the phone and then like when it does like a shot outward where you see his surrounding environment is and that's him in space. To me, the editing definitely gets a plus. Next up we have the effects. So it's good. Again, like seeing Hulk in space, I don't think it looks terrible CGI, you know, and Hulk still looks good. And I think Jen might have looked a little worse, somewhat. Like I think she looked better in the first episode, but I mean, give or take, I mean, she looks roughly the same and still, you know, still fine. I'll give it a plus overall. Okay, so next up, we're gonna have cinematography. Again, that goes with what I was saying before with the editing, because it's still like a shot and still good cinematography. Like I still thought it was a really good shot. Like Hulk just ends the phone call with Jen and then just zooms out and he's in outer space. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, I was not expecting that at all. But yeah, it was, it was pretty, like, it's good. Again, I don't think there's anything gangbusters. There's one scene, actually, that I really like with the cinematography is just, like, when you see Jen talking to Emil Blomsky and it's, like, his cell, and he's talking about how he can control being Abomination now, which is cool. But anyway, just, like, how it's on his face and, like, you're really seeing that emotion from uh, Tim Roth, who I really like. Just to say, cinematography is a plus, if I didn't say that already. I dig it. I dig it a lot. So next up, it's gonna be a casting. It's, like, you know, it's more or less the same. You know, it's a plus. I mean, like, bringing in Tim Roth, you're getting a plus. I've always liked Tim Roth. I love him in every Tarantino movie he's in. When it comes to acting, I think he blew me away the most. Him and Jen. I think Jen is the MVP of the show. Like, Jen's great. Like, just the way she handles, like, everyday occurrences. I'm like, oh, this is, like, shit I go through or shit my friends go through. So, and I like being able to see Jen's parents. That was cool. Like, these are literally the aunt and uncle to Bruce, which I think is sick. But I don't think there's many other new characters. I could be wrong. We're gonna get a lot of cameos in this show, apparently. And this has the potential for some casting where in this episode, there's, like, a little pamphlet or whatever and it has some news in it and it talks about how a man in a bar gets in a bar fight basically bar brawl fighting with metal claws coming out of his hands so it's like oh shit wolverine do we see wolverine in the show that'd be crazy i don't see that happening but there's definitely a shot so we're gonna go to writing it's handled very well in this episode because one i like just Emil being like i was just a soldier i was just a top marine and like they injected me with the super soldier serum and i'm like oh cool i'm gonna be captain america and he becomes abomination like who wants that it's like what happened with hulk you know he wanted to perfect the super soldier serum too. Yeah, I mean, I get it. He was just a soldier. He's not a bad guy. He's like, this guy did this to me, basically. And then I like how it goes to Hulk being like, yeah, me and Emil are good. Like, we're cool. He wrote me a letter. He wrote me a haiku, which I think is hilarious. And like, whatever happened was in the past, I'm a completely different person now. Literally. It's like, that's insane writing because it's like, yeah, that's obviously super on the nose that Mark Ruffalo did not play the Hulk in that movie. So I'm a big fan of what they did in this episode. They did a lot for Emil's character. And again, I like just Hulk and uh, Jen talking about how she got her new job where she has to represent super beings. So yeah, again, the writing was quite excellent. Finally, we're going to go into direction. I don't have to hammer on it too much. This director got a great performance out of Tim Roth, but he's always going to own it. Jen was great. Hulk was really good. I wasn't expecting to see Hulk in this episode, but I'm happy we did. I'm happy we saw him. So to finish out this review, I'm going to give my final grade. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. I might have given effects a plus, but I'm going to say no. Because overall, I still think Marvel should pay their CGI guys a bit more, like, because it's kind of ridiculous. Like, you, you have insane money. Like, the first Iron Man even looks better than what I'm seeing on this show. You're ran by Disney, so it's like you should be able to put money in. Into it. I really enjoyed this episode. I liked it more than the first one. All right. I will catch y'all very soon. Bye-bye.